possible breast cancer breakthrough tonight. A new study reveals that patients may be able to avoid a common and aggressive treatment without reducing their risk of survival. Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuoso joins us live now with local coverage. Well, Susan, doctors have been removing lymph nodes from under the arms of breast cancer patients for years, thinking that it would help to extend their lives. Now, research finds that in some patients, lymph node removal has zero effect on survival, but can lead to chronic problems. Elizabeth Martin of North Smithfield was diagnosed with breast cancer three years ago and immediately had a lumpectomy. Doctors also removed lymph nodes from her right arm. I didn't really hurt as much from the breast surgery, but my arm did feel the side effects from the loss of the um, lymph nodes. Though breast cancer free, she says she still has to be very careful with her arm. But now some breast cancer patients may not have to deal with the same painful side effects. A new study finds removing underarm lymph nodes in some breast cancer patients isn't necessary. The impact of this study is that now we have data showing that even when there's lymph node involvement, the value of removing more lymph nodes is not apparent. This study refers to patients with somewhat early breast cancer and we find breast cancer early by screening. Martin skipped a mammogram one year and the following year discovered she had breast cancer. Given the stage of her disease, she says she still would have needed lymph nodes removed in her arm. Still, she says the new findings are a step forward in treating the disease. I think it's very promising. I think the less amount you have to do, um, the better. Now, these findings would only affect about 20% of breast cancer patients in the U.S., meaning that some patients would still benefit from the additional lymph nodes being removed. Both the doctor and patient I spoke to say the findings further show the importance of tailoring cancer care to each individual patient. Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.